statement <clears throat> that will stir up the spirit within you. Let's begin by saying these simple words out loud. Say themselves out loud. Say them out loud to yourself if you can. I have a calm, inward conviction of my union with good, my oneness with God. I have a calm, inward conviction of my union with good, my oneness with God. So as we realize that God is the life that animates our physical body, moves through our mind, our heart, and our soul, then we have this deep realization that we are surrounded by an infinite law which receives the impress of our thought and acts creatively upon it. We are conscious of our ability to use this law to direct it through prayer for specific purposes for ourselves and for others. There is nothing in you or me that can deny, limit, obstruct, divert, or in any way hinder our use of this law. There is no argument, no belief, no superstition, no doubt that can cast any shadow of unbelief across our mind. We realize that this law exists and we are conscious and we know that we know how to use it. And so it is, amen. And so it is, amen. So once again, I want to remind everybody of the power of prayer, that it's up to us to pray every day. It's up to us to take that time to recognize that there's a power greater than we are, that this invisible presence that we call God is right here, right where we are, right here with us. It's intelligence, it's spirit, it's power. Just as, it, as Jesus said, the Father is spirit, and we must worship him, give our attention to him, our trust and our love to him in spirit and in truth, in spirit and in truth. Spirit is the great invisible. We don't deny that gravity is present, even though it's invisible. We don't deny that the air that we breathe is surrounding us, is below us, above us, <clears throat> pressing against us, even though it's invisible. Well, let's not deny the presence of God, even though to the human eye it appears to be invisible. But through our vision of faith, through our spiritual vision, we know that the grave invisible is for all good things come, that God is the source of creation itself. But it's up to us to pray and be specific about what it is that we believe to be true for us, what it is that we accept for ourselves and for others. To take that moment every day to believe that for yourself. <clears throat> to give yourself the time to commune with your Creator in the most trusting and loving way you can you can generate in the mentality of your mind.